All right, so the deployment is done locally. We were able to access our application um, using just a simple click and we saw how you could uh, redeploy your application with uh, changes whenever a developer makes a change in his or her code, uh, how easy it was to deploy using the Azure web app. But that's not how it happens in a real world. You don't push your code from a local system gone on those days. It is all about uh, a rich deployment practice wherein every team has a unique way of implementing an efficient deployment pipelines uh, onto any cloud services. And just like that, Azure Web App also comes with a deployment center. On the left hand side, if you click on the app services, uh, that's the app services we deployed. And if you click on the deployment center, you would see a bunch of options. Uh, now these options start from your source control where your code is sitting, uh, maybe Azure repos. Uh, that's one of the features or one of the product from Azure DevOps. You could have your code onto GitHub or Bitbucket as well or from a local uh, Git as well. There is also option of using an FTP based uh, deployment mechanism. Uh, using your site or user credential you can upload files via FTP or web deploy uh, and uh, this one of the mechanism you could deploy your application as well so if you just uh, hit any of the option let's suppose you have your code into git hub and I already have an authentication done uh, so you could always change your account and that's gonna ask you to enter your credential pretty straightforward nothing fancy in this and if you hit on enter um, hit on continue it's gonna ask for three options whether you want to use the github actions which means you could uh, just use a github yaml and start um, doing a practicing a ci cd you could use and uh, kudu based build services as well uh, what is kudu it's an open source uh, developer productivity tool that runs as a separate process in uh, windows or a linux uh, container kudu handles continuous uh, deployment and provide http endpoints for deployment such as it deploy as well or you could use azure pipeline again uh, an offering from azure devops azure devops is an open uh, not open source but a proprietorship tool from azure uh, to do a build and deployment so you could use uh, whatever your company is so uh, idle recommendation if your company is already using uh, azure devops or continuous integration and delivery or code repository you could always use azure pipelines if not if uh, your company has those skill sets to write the github actions yaml you could use uh, github actions and uh, the simplest way i would recommend is uh, initially to get started with the kudu services hit on um, the kudu service and then continue and that's gonna ask you for the organization and whenever i'm now authenticated with my github account it's gonna give you all of my repositories uh, you see all the repositories are right over there what I'm looking for is the Python sample um, what it has got Python sample in it if I go to my repository Python sample uh, it's got a pretty basic uh, Python application and a requirement text file uh, you could so, tie your application with a branch as well I have already one branch that's the master branch hit on continue and then I'm gonna do a finish and this is gonna start the deployment for us we're gonna get all sort of logs commit ID who was the author and how the authentication was done you could see the message that it was triggered a couple of seconds back and then um, the commit ID and then the created via push deployment as well um, you see bunch of option as well browse refresh you could if you want to disconnect your uh, authentication or integration with your github you could just do that uh, sync gonna um, enable you to detect any changes you have made on this particular repo and uh, uh, then it's gonna just simply uh, sync those changes and start pulling your all the information from there and then deploying your application now you could see that running the uh, the build and that's and you could see the logs as well uh, the timestamp what, what it is doing it started with the sub modules and then 
running all the commands in the back end creating a virtual environment all all this is happening in the kudu uh, build developer platform and it's still running the build for us we're going to give it few seconds and then we've got um, if we go to the deployment center again and you would see that the uh, status is success now it was able to deploy our application if we just hit the browse option now you see that hey, it's a python flask application and that's what our application says as well uh, how about a developer has uh, now a new commit to push how does that work so let's suppose for the sake of simplicity one of the developers checks in the code again and and he make a small little change in its code deployed via github and if i just push the changes and if you go back to your azure app web app again you would see that automatically it has uh, detected the change that the there was a change happened in the app.py file now it's running the build again and you could just see the series of logs again how it started and where it is now so it's waiting for the resources the resources means the build server and then it start to starting to run the command again copying all the files and still running the build for us and whenever it is going to complete and we'll be able to see that deployment is finished again and we should be able to uh, give the new features or new application to our user again so the status is uh, success now with an active state if you hit the browse option again you would see that changes are now has come up again deployed via github and that's what we changed in our code so this is this easy it is to uh, configure a continuous integration and delivery uh, you could always break the sync and uh, sync again and it's gonna it's gonna detect the sync uh, the changes automatically just like you saw however uh, you could just force sync again and it's gonna uh, check and see if there are any changes latest changes that's it for now i hope this was informative and you will be able to um, also configure the continuous integration and deployment cycle for your application as well thank you